testing, testing. Hey guys. Long time no see. I just made a little craft desk, a little craft corner. It's just cute. I rearranged my entire office. I had so much junk just sitting like right here for like six months probably. Also, fun fact, I just realized something about myself. I have no hobbies. And I recently just went to the doctor. You know, they ask you about your physical health and your lifestyle. And my doctor was like, so what kind of hobbies do you have? And I was like, I lied and I was like, I love crocheting. I do not crochet. I've tried crocheting once and for one hour and I only made a, a freaking circle. I was always one of those people who started all hobbies, like every craft hobby out there only to end up with no hobbies. That is literally me. No, but seriously, it is incredibly important for every human being to have a hobby. The only hobby that really stuck with me was sewing because I have a clothing addiction. Keep in mind, I have very, very little experience in sewing. I have never taken a class. I am self-taught 100%. So I have a couple of patterns here uh, that I picked up from Joann's and then I made a little bit of a draft. I think my ideas are Fire! So I went in a different direction and I ended up only making like four pieces of clothing and I had like six, seven planned. I was also a little too ambitious. I'm just gonna skip over what I was brainstorming because it's irrelevant. I didn't even end up making like most of those items, so. Just vibe with me, okay? I'm really hoping that I don't accidentally step on one of these because I'm clumsy as fuck. So if this goes south, don't be surprised. How am I supposed to see all of this? make a single mistake. If I do, I have to go back to Joann's and buy more fabric, which I really don't want to do. I fucked up already. I fucked up. The way I folded the fabric is backwards. Of course I noticed that right after I started cutting. I found what I was looking for. The entirety of today, I spent tracing a pattern three times and I still have to sew the pants together. <gasps> this video might take the entire summer. Good morning. This is where we're at. Once I get past like step six, it'll start looking like pants. I don't know. I'm on step two. It's not bad. It is so freaking cute. Look. I made that pocket. It looks like shorts and I'm so excited. I can't wait to add the lace onto it and that's the next step. <coughs> oh, this is so cute. I freaking made these shorts. I made them, me. Okay, we're gonna wear this today, guys. If someone's like, oh my God, I love your pair of shorts, I'm gonna be like, thank you, I made it. Like. No hesitation. I really do like this one as a dress and I am torn between turning it into a two piece or just keeping it as a dress, but I'm gonna switch out the buttons for black ribbon. And I think that'll be so cute if it ran down this whole thing, if it was a dress or if I made it a skirt and a top, the top would still have the ribbon, the tie, but the skirt would probably like just be its own thing. No buttons, no tie. I don't know, we'll see.
Look how cute. Such a vibe with this purse. Um, this dress is like really big on me, but that's the point, you know? This with like loafers. I'm gonna hold off on styling for now because I wanna have like a whole fashion show at the end. I went to Hobby Lobby today and they were having a really good sale on their lace. This was a dollar when it would when it's usually $5.99. Look how pretty this one is. When it's usually $8.50. And then I got this adorable gingham ribbon. I'm gonna add bows. I don't know where. We're gonna go on Pinterest and figure out where the placement should be. Guys, follow me on Pinterest. Oh, a lot of people put it on the sides. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. I have been trying to teach myself how to tie a bow for like years now, but I think I finally got them. And now I've been doing it nonstop. It looks dainty. It is perfect. Are we adding another layer of ruffles? And you know what, guys? It just blends so much better. I was thinking about like up here. You can't even fucking see that. Can I just put it on the side? I feel like I'm just gonna put it on the side. My new and improved shorts. This is so cute. Guys, I just made the cutest shorts. This one honestly might be next. I just took out the side seams because this dress doesn't fit, so I want to make it a little bit tighter. But I'm not going to sew it just yet because I want to start embroidering. I was going to do patchwork like this, like a whole bunch of patchwork artwork type of stuff. But I am totally feeling embroidery. But look how cute. Kind of like patchwork tattoos. I think I can do this. It's like drawing, right? Right? So far so good, I'd say. I'd say this is a win. This is difficult. It's like drawing, right? But it's not impossible. I just embroidered it a friend and the friend looks so much better. <laughs> what was I thinking with this? It's a deformed fish, but damn, it's friend looks good. Okay, an hour and a half to embroider two tiny things. This is gonna take me a very long time. Cansei de te chamar pra tu sair de casa Mas você só continua com essa enrolação Já cansei de te chamar pra tu sair de casa Você só continua com essa enrolação Eu já limpei e arrumei o que você pediu Enquanto você tinha outra coisa que arrumar E mesmo assim te esperando você não sair I was sweating bullets I've just come to the river to cool down my feet <laughs> Você só continua com essa enrolação Eu já cansei de te chamar pra tu sair de casa Mas você só continua com essa enrolação Depois pra tu cozinha, banho, roupa e bidê Parece sempre que há uma coisa pra fazer Já te falei que compromisso não pode esperar Mas você sempre arruma coisa pra se enrolar so, I've managed to embroider for four days straight. And this is all I got done. I don't know if it's because I'm a beginner, probably, or if embroidering really just takes this fucking long. I was embroidering all day yesterday and I only got these two done. Like, I don't understand what is taking me so long. And I also wanna make accessories. So this is the clay that I got. Das. Let's see what kinds of pendants we should make today. She is looking so cute! 
out. It's not perfect. I will admit some of the pendants lay a little funny and they kind of twist around. It's cute nonetheless. I made this necklace. Another project done. And I'm gonna move on to my next project, which is the bubble skirt. I was gonna do a dress, but that's a little ambitious. That's a lot. So we're just gonna make a skirt. And plus, I think the skirt is so freaking cute, but I don't have a pattern for that. So I'm gonna just make it up as I go. I'm just literally just gonna try and make my own skirt somehow. I don't know how. We're gonna try and do it. <laughs> I hate projects where you have to gather fabric because when you start sewing it is so confusing and it's so easy to make a mistake I've already messed up like three times trying to sew gathered fabric. Anyway, so here's the skirt. I'm not finished Obviously imagine if I wore a skirt that looked like this, but what do y'all think? Just look at this half this half. It's looking pretty good You know the bottom I just have to hem it bring it up a bit or do I look like I'm wearing diapers? I think this is gonna turn out pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. But I will be back when I'm either finished or almost finished. I don't know. I finished the skirt. Are you kidding me? I feel like I'm sitting on a cloud. I feel like a princess. It is so janky though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm not gonna give y'all close-ups of this skirt because <laughs> it is so janky. I'm so obsessed. This, I call it my fruit necklace. Got an orange, a yellow kiwi, strawberry, lime, star fruit, if you know what that is. And honestly, I just colored this blue because I wanted all the primary colors. Anyways, so today we're moving on to the next project. We're making a maxi skirt. With this beautiful pattern here, it's totally gonna be a summer vibe. So I'm just gonna take some time to study this. Oh, not to mention my fish necklace, bro. Like, look at the fish, it's so cute. This is so epic. And I'm definitely gonna be wearing this when I go fishing and I'm gonna get the most epic fish. Yes, I go fishing. Would you have guessed? It's about that time, the moment we've all been waiting for. Hold on to your seats because it's time for the fashion show. All right, bitches, up first is this blue and white maxi skirt. It is so freaking pretty. I love a good blue and white outfit. The skirt is so flowy and it is so perfect for the freaking heat that we've been experiencing this summer. I love styling my outfits two ways, so here's another way to wear a skirt. I am obsessed with red accessories, red everything, red anything on my outfit. Here we are. The belt, the shoes, the purse, the headband, all from the thrift store or vintage shop. Stunning. Up next, we've got one of my favorite pieces now in my closet, this bow plaid dress and it could also be an autumn outfit stay tuned because i'm definitely gonna be styling this for the fall then we got the puff skirt which by the way i did throw in the laundry don't mind the wrinkles but i really do love this piece i feel like it's so versatile i did style it two ways i actually did wear this one out and it was so freaking cute i got so many compliments then of course the gingham shorts which i'm obsessed with okay i freaking made that pocket my whole phone fits in it women need pockets that fit their phones god damn it love a pop of red i styled it two ways this outfit is just so freaking cute and then this dress which is <laughs> taking me a lifetime. Come back summer 2025. And then of course we have the accessories for every outfit needs a pop of color, okay? We got the fruit necklace, we got the fish necklace, which of course I'm gonna be wearing when I go fishing. It is so cute. The original necklace, so adorable and I'm more than obsessed with my entire wardrobe. This is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video and just making clothes. Kind of sad to see this video end. Oh my gosh, it took me forever. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That's, that's where we stay connected. That's where we talk. That's where we chat. That's where we connect. That's where we get closer. I love chatting with you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.